Hello YouTube. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while, but we're, today we're going to be showing you how to multitask on the iPad, as well as our favorite apps which are Circuitous. So, to multitask, first you're going to want to download Background, or you can, that's a jailbroken app, you can just do a search for it in City Air or Rock. And once you do that, then you can open up any app, we're going to open up Sketchbook, and after it loads, you press a short hold on the home button, and a thing will come up that says backgrounding enabled. Sorry, that launched voice control if you hold it for too long. But you just hold it for a short time, backgrounding enabled, and you can let go, and it'll be backgrounding. And you can turn on on or off badges that will show you when it's backgrounding. But now when you tap it, it launches right back to where we were. So at this point, you can just exit out. And you can have as many apps as you want backgrounding at the same time. Like if you open up the Twitter app, and you can background that. And now we can go back to Sketchbook or whatever, and it'll still be open. This can take a toll on your RAM if you have a lot of like games open in the background, so you don't want to have too many games backgrounding at any time. And also, if you have too much, sometimes they all crash. So that's something to be careful of. It's just meant for you to be able to quit out of your app really quickly and then come back. It's not meant to have it running all the time. But now we're going to be showing off our apps, the app switcher that is our favorite, which is called Circuitus. You, it has it has a dock that pops up on the side of the screen. It'll be up here. But, and that just allows you to quick switch your apps. So we double tap the home button, you and can set it to be whatever you want. And it displays all the apps that are backgrounded into this little dock, which appears when you double tap. So then you can scroll across them like this. And usually, Mail and iPod are two that are usually running in the background. Apple makes it backgrounding on their own. So what this dock allows you to do is quit processes by hitting the X to stop the backgrounder the backgrounding of the app and when you tap on it you run it it goes into the app which will be saved at the state which you backgrounded it so you can see there I just quit out of sketchbook and now if we tap on twitter it'll open that up another feature that circuitous has is called the cycler this allows you to quickly switch between the apps that you have open by the press of whatever you want it to do you can set it to be a double tap on the home button or a double tap on the status bar or holding the status bar there's tons of different options you can check those out when you download it but I've got some apps backgrounding and I have it set so that when I double tap on the status bar it'll switch between them so double tap and it switches to the first one which is mail double tap again switches to the next one double tap next one double tap and finally, if you double tap, it'll go back to the springboard. So it'll cycle through all the apps, and that's pretty useful for quick app switching. The one problem is, for the status bar one, obviously not all apps have a status bar, but you can set it to be whatever you want. So that's how to multitask on the iPad. It's very simple, and I really recommend you go download Backgrounder and Circuitous. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.